Neighbors, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have just the perfect recipe for you. I'm going to show you how to make a delicious cream-based stir-fry. Now this is perfect for people who are on keto. I'm not. I like to eat it with rice, but it's very filling yet light on the stomach. So once you have this, you're not going to feel like snacking. You feel full for a good uh, six hours. Make it at home with any leftover vegetables. I'll show you the right amount of ingredients. And this one requires no trips to the Korean Mart. You're going to love this. Let me know what you think. Tag us on IG after you're done. Bon appetit. And hello asparagus. It has been a while since we worked with this. Today we're going to need only four of you guys. So two, stay at home. Let's trim off the ends and then we'll cut them at a slight angle. All right, beautiful. Half a head of broccoli. Great recipe to use broccoli. It works beautiful. And I'm going to just cut off a little bit of stem pieces as well. Same for this as well. We're going to balance it out with two proteins. One is shrimp. You can use fresh or frozen, whatever floats your boat. Peel around eight or nine because I love shrimp. I made this for Katie yesterday and she absolutely loved it. So, by the way, if you're cooking alone, we have another episode up on our podcast. I'll put the link below in the description box. This week we talked about sex ed. Actually, Korean sex ed to be more specific. All right, guys, I just gave them a quick wash. You can just cook them whole quickly if you're in a rush or I like to butterfly them. Just go down the back, take out, devein it one or two more strokes along the back so it opens up like that very good and then i'm going to keep a few just looking whole so we can get a difference in looks we're going to add in three chili peppers i'm using that chongyang chili peppers these are spicy again if you don't have these substitute them with jalapenos we're going to add this at the end and it's going to cut through any of the heaviness from the sauce all right beautiful i'm going to use heavy cream i want you to use one full cup and then yes, some butter. It has been a while since we have used butter on this channel. We're gonna use this butter and we're gonna mix it in with um, the oil that comes from our meat and it's gonna make it super savory. Then add the heavy cream and just layers of flavor. And then speaking of the meat, I'm using thinly sliced pork belly. You can use thinly sliced beef like chadobegi. We want around 200 grams. Yes, and we do want some fat mixed in. That way we can use the oil from it and we're gonna build a nice creamy, amazing sauce. Ah, let's go. Oh, I forgot some minced garlic. We need a little bit for today. Teaspoon. And oh, one of the key taste variables is a slice of sandwich cheese. Today I'm using mozzarella. You can use American or Swiss cheese. All three works very well. Uh, and I know what you may be thinking, Daniel, whoa, 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 why are we adding cheese to anything here? This adds texture and just the right amount of savoriness and saltiness right at the end. I'll show you what I mean. All right, and neighbors, when we stir fry, this is gonna go quickly, so get all the ingredients uh, lined up so we can no thinking cooking. Best time. That's the lineup for today's game. All right, we do have a special guest player, and I didn't mention, but we're gonna throw in ooh, some sriracha, a little bit of oil. Let's get this on a medium high, and then get your thin meat slices on. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Move it onto one place. Season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Get a few cracks going. And now you see the oil coming out of the meat. We're gonna use that very soon. And it's okay if you get a little bit of burnt stuff. Later, we're gonna deglaze with that cream and all of those little caramelized bits, flavor. We add in that butter. Get in there. I like it, it's gonna taste so good. Then my friends, we're gonna add the broccoli to the butter. Oh yes. Alright. Stir fry the broccoli around for around 30 seconds so that it can start to soften up. And look, we're starting to get some caramelization here. We're going to throw in our shrimp. Let them get some color. At the same time, we're going to bless it with that teaspoon of minced garlic. Get that over the shrimp. You want to get the shrimp on the bottom of the frying pan or your wok so that they can start Getting that beautiful red color. Now look at the shrimp now, it's nice and orange. This is good level. Perfect time to add in more veggies. This is our asparagus. 
And now I'm going to leave the beef and the asparagus to just sit there and cook on one side so that we can get some color. Woo! Guys, you see all that brown mist out there? We're going to deglaze now. One cup of fresh cream coming in. Now get your spatula and go across the bottom and it should deglaze all of that stuff coming off. You see on the side here? Make sure you get all those like nice bits, especially off the bottom here. I like to use a broccoli. Sorry, broccoli. You're going to clean with me on the bottom. Mm -hmm. All right, and as it comes back up to boil, we're going to put in two teaspoons of sriracha. This is going to give it a nice little kick. Second teaspoon in. And then don't forget our chili peppers. Add all of them in, along with our slice of cheese. Oh my gosh. And, and the cheese, it'll blend in. Don't worry. You just mix it around. It's adding flavor. The sriracha. Let's get that sauce looking a little bit slight orange. I don't like it too white. And look, with just a few stirs, that cheese is gone. <laughs> it's absorbed into the sauce. And the last thing, we didn't put any salt or seasoning, so we need something. We're going to put a little bit of fish sauce. I'm using Korean anchovy sauce. All right, guys, just a small dab like that. Move it around. Mix that into the sauce. I'll give it around 15 or 20 seconds so that fish sauce can evaporate away. And then let's give it a taste. Amazing. All right, and then we just add this creamy little sauce. This is perfect for keto. You can just eat this straight. Ooh. All right, guys, and there it is. And the most important thing, of course, we got to finish off with some of that sauce. That sauce is really where the money's at. All right, if you're on a keto diet, you can just eat this thing straight. Oh my gosh, take a bite. It's so good. I am not on a keto diet, and this rice is calling my name. I'm going to use my left hand to get some sauce. Put that over the top. I actually want to get a chili pepper on there as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bon appetit. That little splash of fish sauce at the end, it really takes it to the next level. Actually, I think this would taste even great over some penne pasta. Or if you're a carb addict like me, I have a leftover dinner roll sitting on my dinner table was looking at me and that is how you enjoy life i hope you enjoyed that it's amazing how one simple ingredient like uh, cream and you just stir fry normal ingredients and you can change it into something very beautiful enjoy that meal i know you're gonna make it at home and then let me know how you like it